University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Welcome to Radio Friends. This is Tuesday, July 5th. I hope you had a good 4th of July. We're glad you're with us today. we got two topics today. Actually, both of them dealing with voice, one on theater and one taking care of, of your voice. Let's start, first of all, with Dr. Matthew Page. Welcome to Radio Friends. Thank Doctor. you, Paul. Thank you. You're here to tell us about the MU Voice Care team. What is that? Well, the Voice Care team is a, a group of professionals from medical, surgical, therapeutic, and artistic backgrounds. And our job is to take care of people's voices. Diseased voices that need to be brought back to normal function. And then more of the high-performing voices that need to be more than normal, mm -hmm. such as broadcasters, or singers, singers, or singers, singers, theater performers. So how do you do that? Well... My job on the team is to rule out anything bad. Rule out cancers, rule out infections and diseases that need a medical or surgical treatment. And then I work with very skilled doctoral level uh, therapists on campus here and also with the opera professionals on campus uh, in the music school. So once the, the bad things have been ruled out, then we can get people trained into better vocal habits, into better ways of projecting their voices, mm -hmm. into conserving what they've got for a career, whether that's teaching in front of a lecture hall or whether that's performing on stage or just getting by selling things on the phone. Okay, so what's the biggest mistake that we make as far as our voice is concerned? I, we've got about five or six things that we make. Uh, we don't get very well hydrated. Okay. So drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water, but then don't do things that are going to dehydrate you. Like, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Okay. Don't drink alcohol to excess. You've got to live, but don't be excessive about it. Uh huh. When you're at the football game, don't yell too loud. Well, you still you've got to live, but if you've got to do something that, the next day with your voice or the next week, you know you need to decide what's important to you. Yeah, and maximize, I'm looking, I'm cheating here because I'm looking at your list. I brought you a cheat. Max, maximize throat clearing. No, no, I think it says minimize. Oh, minimize. There minimize. we go. <laughs> so I need glasses too and I had them on. <laughs> minimize throat clearing. So, you mean going. <clears throat> <laughs> but you want to do that? What's that do? That rams your vocal cords together. Trauma. Oh. So, so coughing does too then. Coughing does that too. It's harder to suppress a cough, but a throat clear, you know what you can do? What? Swallow. Okay. Oh, just go. Just. Now, if that's going on for a long time, we want to make sure that there's nothing right. medically wrong with okay. the voice, and we'll, we can deal with that. Okay. But if you can swallow on top of your throat Instead clear of clearing urge, the throat, okay. you might just break the habit. If people want more information, what do they do? They can call the MU Voice Care team. It's at 582-573-882-7903. Okay, the... Dr. Matthew Page, thank you so right. much for coming by. Pleasure you, having Paul. you thank here. You. Okay, now I turn to Todd Davidson and Jack Smith, who are with us from Maples Rep. Hello. Good to have both of you here. Thanks. And uh, I tell you what, I saw a couple of weeks ago just a closer walk with Patsy Klein, and that was absolutely wonderful well, you, you guys did a great job Thanks. on that yep. uh maples rep uh, you're here to talk about which show today we're here to talk about george washington slept here which opens just on friday yeah so and you're todd you're in this i am todd, I todd is the artistic director and jack uh, jack smith your role is i'm the costume designer so you make all the costumes designing I'm, the costumes for yep. George Washington slept here. And the whole season this year, so yeah. yes. Oh, really? Okay. So he made what you saw Patsy Klein wear, and he made The Foreigner. And then as soon as we get George Washington up, he'll be able to focus full-time on Pirates of Penzance. So, that... so how difficult is it to come up with those costume designs? You know, each show is unique unto itself. Um, Patsy Klein is... Is, was an, an easier one because there's such a body of images to pull from when you're looking at what Patsy Cline looked like. And you have to live within a budget also. Oh, right? absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And <laughs> uh, an amount of time and the staff I have to help build the shows. So 
all of those so things have to factor all in. All of the costumes that the actors and actresses are wearing are made specifically for that show. That's correct. At, made or at pulled, the theater. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Sometimes people have a concept that the theater calls up and says, oh, give me all the costumes for George Washington's slip here. No. But that just that doesn't, doesn't exist. No. Starts, you, you, you make all of your costumes from scratch. It we, starts with the design team deciding, you know, when are we going to place this play, what time period and where, if it's going to be the same as in the book or if we're going to do something different. Then we have lots of conversations about what these characters are like, and then that's Jack's expertise comes then in Then what happens to the costumes once the, the, the show is closed? Do you keep them, or do you try to sell them to another production? We keep them. Um, sometimes other productions do use them. Other theaters say, I'm doing this certain thing, and I wonder if we could use that certain outfit or something like that. But for the most part, another thing about building a stock like we've done over the last eight years is Jack will design things, and that, since he's come back multiple times, he remembers you know, some of the silhouettes for the you know, the 1940s that we have in stock, and then maybe he can retool that for another actor or for another show. So, so we mostly keep the things that we build. Are, 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 are all, you must have thousands of costumes yet. We have a number. Have a are they number. all kept in a big cedar chest? Or <laughs> <laughs> how do you store them? On racks and tubs, and yeah, it's it's quite a collection of. Things. And obviously, they have you have to categorize them in a computer, don't you? So you know what you have. We don't. The though, computer that would is be my nice. brain. It's mostly well, Jack's that, brain. That's pretty interesting. That's yep. pretty interesting. Well, Jack, I thank you for coming by and giving no us a little insight about the uh, about the costumes. But Todd, do you want to go ahead and tell about the rest of the season you've got? Absolutely. George Washington Slept Here is a great comedy by Kaufman and Hart, old time comedy writers who wrote You Can't Take It With You and a number of screenplays. Yeah, and when does this open? It opens Friday. Friday the 8th. Okay. And it runs through August 3rd. Now Patsy is gone. Now, Patsy's gone, yeah. yeah. We put Patsy to sleep on on uh, <laughs> uh, the very 1st of July, July 2nd. Yeah, so, but that what a great show yeah, that was. The Foreigner is still playing now, and that also was very, very funny. And then uh, in two weeks, we'll be opening Pirates of Penzance, which also runs through August 7th. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the, uh, in the fall, you've got the Andrew... The Andrews Brothers, yeah, okay. a real funny World War II musical. And uh, the... Now, i got to ask you about the Andrews Brothers. Yep. They're, they're, it's a takeoff on the Andrews Sisters, That's correct. right? Mm -hmm. And I was looking in the playbill, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company B was not listed in oh, there. Oh, it is in there, though. But they're it, doing right. it. Yes, it's there. Okay, so you're doing all of the old standard yep. Andrews sister. Yep, that's Favorite. right. It's in okay. October, so we really want to do. Do we want everybody to know about that for sure? Okay. All right. For uh, ticket information, they can call the Maples Rep uh, yep, they Theater. Yeah, call six six zero three eight five twenty nine twenty four, and we'll take care of you. Okay. And you're a wonderful old theater, but it yep. is air conditioned. It's very yep. comfortable, yep. and the acoustics are great too. It is. It's a good right. place to see Todd, theater. Todd, Jack, thank you so much for coming by. Thank Pleasure you. Thank having you, you and, and good luck to, to both of you. Thanks okay? very much. Tomorrow on our show, Dave Mars will talk about energy saving tips. Our show, directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Andrew Orozco. And our assistant producer, guest coordinator, all around good person there, Uncle James. Mauser. And if you uh, have any suggestions or comments, drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. Go to kbi8.org, click on Radio Friends, listen to it again, or sign up for a vodcast or podcast. Bye-bye.